back to my channel. My name is Demaya, if you're new here. In today's video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how I got this hair featuring Chris Beauty. Um, it's XRS Beauty, but the pronunciation is Chris Beauty. Um, so yeah, they sent me over there, clear lace, clear hairline, 13 by six, 16 inch straight wig. And it's 200% density, but I don't think it's 200% density. It's more like 130, if I'm being honest. The reason I wanted to do this 70s inspired video is because I know y'all been seeing a TikTok trend. Um, I'm just gonna insert my video here. But yeah, I decided to take the opportunity to do it with this hair and it came out pretty good. You can also use my code Demaya24, 20% off across the website. But yeah, I'm gonna get into more specs on this hair in the video. So just keep on watching. Y'all voiceovers are so stressful. I've done like 20 takes so far. Anyway. They sent me over two pieces of lace. They're clear lace and regular transparent lace. And this is their 16 inch straight wig. It's 200% density, but I don't think so. Y'all will see what I mean. Anyway, I did lose footage of this unboxing, so I had to do it over, but I reinstalled the wig anyway, so it worked out. So this was after washing it and curling it. Um, the wig did come with four combs, but I took out the two side combs because they were in my way. And as you can see, it's supposed to be a 13 by six frontal, but it's really more like a closure with the edges being frontal like, if y'all know what I mean. It got tracks like going through the frontal. And I don't like that because you can't really do a side part. But anyway, it came with this adjustable elastic band, some duck clips, a comb, a wig cap, some eyelashes, and some flexi rods, which I really appreciate. Um, so this is their regular transparent lace and their new clear lace and y'all do y'all see how this clear lace is just blending in um so yeah i feel like if you are a beginner with wigs like i am i mean it's not my first time trying on a wig but i don't really wear wigs so this clear lace was just perfect for me like it was just so easy to blend with my skin and yeah it was way thinner than the transparent lace So I did do a bun for my foundation. I just didn't feel like braiding because I'm not gonna wear this wig for forever. And I did shave like the peach fuzz around my edges just so my lace can lay better. And y'all, this is where I messed up. I used this dark cap and I also used glue on my cap. I mean, I thought I was arrogant Tay because he does this <laughs> and it works for him, but it just didn't work for me. I think the glue is just too thick or maybe I put too much, I don't know. Anyways, the dark cap just didn't work out. Like I thought I was doing something by using a cap that matched my skin, but girl, don't do that. Um, I just, in the next install, I used a lighter cap and my foundation powder and that just worked out better. Um, so here I'm just customizing the frontal to my hairline. Um, I don't like when wigs come down all the way on people's foreheads. Like your hairline don't start right there. So don't put it right there. <laughs> But yeah, here's me just customizing it. This took forever, y'all, because like I said, I'm a beginner. And the hair that I pulled down, like to customize to my hairline, I did like pull all of their hair out. I didn't show it, but yeah, I ripped it out from the lace. Um, but yeah, I trimmed the hair a little bit just to give it like cleaner ends because it was looking a mess. And yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm gonna stop talking and let y'all watch. Okay, I lied. I just realized that I lost the footage of me like putting a glue um, on my forehead so I could lay the lace down. But after I did that, I just sprayed some more free spray and melted it some more. So y'all, I'm embarrassed about what y'all finna see. <laughs> um, Eric and Tay uses a flat iron to curl his edges before he lays them and yeah i tried that it just wasn't working out i don't know i don't know i don't know <laughs> i guess i thought shaking it was gonna help me but it did not so yeah i just kept playing with it it was looking real wiggish like i mean i know it's a wig but i just didn't like it so i just kept playing with it and i mean it was looking okay for somebody who like 
don't wear wigs and it was my first time in a long time doing this but I just would not go out the house like that so I just wasn't satisfied and I just kept tweaking it and tweaking it and tweaking it but at the end of the night I was just like you know what I'm gonna do this tomorrow I can't you know I don't want to post this content of my hair looking jacked up I just didn't know what I was doing so when I went to when I was getting ready to go to sleep I just had this bright idea to you know put the wig back on and add some hair so y'all gonna see what I did to you know fix it make it longer and nice and luscious like how y'all saw in the beginning but yeah you can't even do a side part because they got the tracks on the side like look I don't like that but everything else about the hair was nice um yeah I can't complain about the quality so I just used the Clairol Kaleida Colors um powder and the Clairol 40 developer um and I just mixed it until it was like a toothpaste type mixture it was a little more liquidy than toothpaste but yeah just protecting my wig head and I sprayed some free spray so that I don't quite get the edges and I still ended up bleaching it anyways but it's all good So after letting it sit for about 25 to 30 minutes, I just washed it out with this Redken Color Extend Blonded Shampoo. And then, like I said, y'all, this is not 200% density. Like, look at how thin this wig is. But yeah, I um, use this Afogee Heat Protecting Spray and Bio Silk. Um, and blow dry everything out. And then section off the frontal because I didn't want to add more tracks to the frontal. I just wanted to lay nice and flat. And I just went between every single track that the wig had and added another whiff. All right, once I got like halfway through the wig, I started adding the tracks like every other two tracks because I didn't want it to be too thick at the top. So once I got to like three quarters of the wig, um, I stopped adding tracks all together. I just really didn't want too many tracks around the frontal. So right here is when I got so happy. <laughs> it was looking so nice and thick and the hair was flowing nicely. Um, these bundles are from The Hair Boutique. I know it's not sponsored, but yeah. Y'all, we back and we better. I'm feeling way more confident about this than I did yesterday. So y'all, look at how much more natural this looks now that I bleach the knots. I did over bleach it, but it's fine because that's always fixable with some dye or some makeup. But yeah, I just, instead of using glue, I just sprayed it down this time. And yeah, I feel like I definitely laid it better. Um, when I did it the first time 
because I had more lace to work with and it was just easier. But I just feel like this looks more natural. Practice definitely makes perfect. Um, so yeah, I'm just using some dye to clean up like my part. Well, make it a little thinner because <laughs> it looked like Moses on parted the Red Sea in my scalp. But yeah, um, I blow dry the, the dye down. And y'all, look at how it's like, <laughs> just look at it. If I hadn't over bleached it, then it would look better, but whatever. She's still late. More lace though. When they said clear lace, they really meant it. Like they really meant it. Like, I just want y'all to see. Back up, don't get too close. Back up. But look, <laughs> I gotta put some dye right there. Cause I saw y'all getting too close. I saw you screenshot and zooming in. I'm mad I can't do a side part with this. That's like my only issue with this wig. I like the way this curl came out though. Like, this first one is really nice. I have a good feeling about this, this time. I feel like it's gonna turn out how I wanted it to. Y'all, my arms hurt so bad, but I'm determined because I'm almost at the end.
This is not how their curls look, but this is what I could do, okay? So I'm about to shake it out and we are gonna see. I'm scared, y'all. Hey y'all, I'm back. Y'all wouldn't believe that it's literally a whole week later, maybe. Yeah, a whole week later since I recorded this video. I wanted to do the TikTok for real, so I got another phone. That's, that's the song. I hope this turns out like, <coughs> excuse me. I hope this turns out right. <coughs> I got it. This looks very pretty. I don't think both of these curls, like this one is cute, this one is cute. This one is more modern. It's more sadness. But sadly, I have to curl it over. all right that's it that's it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed don't forget to check out chris beauty and use my code to my 20 for 20 percent off i feel like this is the perfect beginner wig because the knots come bleach i mean i did have to bleach it myself again as y'all saw but they come bleached and pre-plugged and it's easy to blend so yeah i feel like this would be the perfect wig for a beginner don't forget to like comment and subscribe and Turn on your post notifications so you don't miss when I upload. I think that's it. Bye, y'all.